With our newfound freedom from Revenue Daily Coast, we're headed out here on Frohunga Savannah multiplayer today to see if we can luck into the only diamond that we're now missing, the Eurasian Widgeon. Now, there's plenty of other stuff to hunt here on Frohunga that we don't have as well. We're not going to hunt Widgeon with too much urgency because I expect with the upcoming True Racks for Springbuck, we'll probably be here a lot after the Emerald Coast comes out. But we've been on a bit of a hot streak lately, admittedly more through kind of just pure determination and hours put in than luck, but Maybe today luck will be on our side if we can get that Diamond Widgeon as well. And it looks like our hunt may be starting off with a Lesser Kudu, which fittingly enough was the last species that we just about shot with the 22 there to get Truax. So we only have at the moment two Diamonds of them in our Trophy Lodge. One nice level 5 we got within like 50 kills of them getting Truax and us doing a mini grind. Then a level 4 that took forever and just happened to make diamond. And it's frankly way smaller than the level 5. It's because of tip to tip spread, these things that true racks can kind of cause some weird scoring abnormalities. And I'm just not really happy with it in the lodge. So eventually, I'd love to get another level 5 diamond or even a 4 that looks like a 5. And we just don't see many kudu anymore. So going through areas like this where they evidently are, that definitely can be something as well. Now we're nowhere near water and we're not seeing witching, but. As we kind of move our way along, we can kind of direct ourselves towards a lake and maybe kind of kill two birds with one stone. So this was a level 4, and I would actually even say, like, his right horn there is bigger than the horns of that level 4 diamond I mentioned. He has a 138 right at 91 kilo. Diamond is 151, so a pretty good one. Double lung at 249 meters with the 303. By the way, our loadout today obviously consists of that 303. We have the 338 for big game, we have the 223 again in honor of the upcoming buff with the Emerald Coast update, we have the 22, and on the off chance that we end up somehow getting a shotgun opportunity at a Witchin, we have the 16 gauge just in case. You know, I'm not sure, but I kinda think Dark Gimsbuck might be rare now, and this lion just sent those ones running, so we ought to be able to see where they go to. Maybe we can get a crack at them with the 338. And it may have been a little more involved than just shooting them in the distance, but I am quite confident that's our Gems Buck right there. So if we can get them to stand up just because that angle is pretty poor, we'll try to even get it with a hard shot if we can. Now the problem is with a Dark Fur type Gems Buck, I don't think you can do the same thing. We'll have to find another Gems Buck to illustrate it, but a common gray or... Actually, I don't even know the other <laughs> fur type name. They have a kind of brownish marking on their leg that is literally a target to make a hard shot. I don't think we could have seen it on this one and it wasn't standing still, so why not just take it while it was there? But we will probably follow the herd just so I can show what I'm talking about. Just for the sake of it, I guess they do still have that same marking. It's maybe not as obvious, but had she stood broadside, it would have been doable. That must have just missed. Yeah, gold is 276, she is a 275. And the thing about these is, like I said, I think they're rare now. They didn't used to be. Maybe something can go in the second lodge, but when we've got like a diamond dark fur type games buck from way back in the day, it's harder for this to kind of fit into that same place, but it definitely is a cool kill. And like I said, one worthy of going in the second lodge. Now, probably, It'll be easier said than done trying to get this Gensbuck to stand broadside for us. If we just shoot the ground right there though, she'll stand up. Can we get her to stand broadside? And maybe more importantly, can we even see that marking on the leg anyway? I don't think we can, and the thing is, it's lower than you expect. So if we try the shot without being able to see it, good chance we shoot right over the heart. But, I mean, right in there we did get it. I'll try to show as best I can in the harvest screen how that lines up, but I definitely would have shot too high if I didn't already know better from trying it with Gensbuck, because it was a thing I always wanted to do. They're absolute tanks, especially in real life, and even with something like the 338 or 300, double lung comes nowhere near dropping them. If you can make that hard shot though, obviously they drop, they have that nice dropping animation similar to Cape Buffalo and other species, so it's a cool thing to be able to do. But we'll see if we can make it a little bit more clear, because with the grass and stuff, it just wasn't there. So that more or less is what you're aiming for, right at the top of that darker marking. And then in the harvest screen, you can see exactly where that is. So we'll leave the cursor there. That's basically right at the top. 
There's the bottom of the heart. It lines up just perfectly. And at 160 meters, we aimed lower than I definitely would have normally. I just think it's the way that Gemsbuck are. It looks like you're going to be aiming too low, but you're really not. Anyway, just a, a neat little thing that maybe one day if we find, for instance, a diamond male Gemsbuck we can attempt, just always more fun to drop stuff of that size. Just as I was getting ready to consider taking one of these Cape Buffalo here, we do have a mythical, and of course we have the 338. I realized there is a herd of Kudu resting behind them. Not that any of them are necessarily any bigger, but it's good to know about some of these locations I didn't even notice. Eh, we'll probably try to get that one. That's a potential hollow chamber. It's a weird distance, like right around 350 meters. So potentially a tough shot, especially laying down, but put that right. That was a thing. <laughs> now, I don't know just how low these level ones can score. Sounds like one of our Cape Buffalo is coming back around. Don't know where that first shot hit. Second one is going to be more than enough. Thought our one more might have just been search while moving around, but that is a bronze at 102. 66 kilo, that's a number, maybe 65 is minimum for a male kudu. Silver's 107, anytime we can get a bronze male animal, I always consider that a hollow shamer, so let's add that to the hollow shame, grab our little bonus cape buffalo, and we'll keep on kind of working through areas like this. I think oftentimes maybe we get too bogged down in hunting water sources, and when we're going for widgeon, there's a good reason for that, but I want to pass through areas where we may see kudu, springbuck, other stuff just feeding or resting in the open, because I feel like we don't do that much. No way. That is a guaranteed diamond kudu. Now there is utter chaos happening really close to us. The reason they're running around like that is there's another player in the server on a four-wheeler, and not saying anything's wrong with that, more power to him, it's a part of being a multiplayer, but I, oh boy. We can't. As much as I'd love to take that shot, we just can't do that. We'll, we'll try to track him down and figure something else out, but uh, hopefully the four-wheeler doesn't cause too many issues, because as you can see, they'll run in kind of circles, and that can be a real problem to track, especially if it's going to continue. If we get a good broadside trotting shot, might have to go for it. That's our guy right there, and of course he's going to trot down towards that hill. If we can just get him to turn around for a minute, the four-wheeler guy left, but I still want to try to get him down. And that's going to work from the 303. That was absurd. And like I said, he left. It maybe didn't need to be rushed that bad, but we just tracked a whitetail for 10 kilometers last weekend. I really wasn't trying to get into that again. Now, it has been a while, but... I'm pretty confident Diamond is 151 for these guys. We just looked earlier, too, and I'm pretty sure that's what that was, so he's got a good chance to be a pretty big one. And he is a 154.85, two kilometer tracking distance, 101.39 kilo, double lunged him, almost got the hard shot with the 303. Now, let's tax him. Multiplayer can do some pretty weird stuff, and that's before getting chased by a four wheeler, but that is pretty cool. I wish we could have taken a little bit more time with the shot, but after all that going on, and again, the whitetail last weekend, when he was there, we just had to take him. And yet again, got a charging cape buffalo here. I think that came from down where we just were with the kudu. I saw a herd of them, didn't see anything big, and just kind of headed off in the other direction. Now that we did end up with a diamond kudu, I actually want to start focusing a little bit more on some of the lakes with the time we have remaining. Now, I do. How do we do that? He almost stopped when we shot, I think. Otherwise, that may have hit the lungs if he continued, but rare to sort of hit him in that particular pose, I guess. Anyway, I do still want to get a spring bug. I want to at least use the 223 since we have it, but I haven't seen any yet, and normally they're kind of in these areas, so maybe just our timing's been off. And right on cue, we've got a herd of spring bucks, so one of them is nervous. Maybe could have lines around here. They really weren't in this area in the past, but now they are. They do drink at this particular lake, and they've always drank at the northeastmost lake. A couple of them are nervous. I don't see any big ones. In that case, why don't we just take the black brown? It's actually right at 250 meters as well, which, again, the 223 and 243, when zeroed for 300, really are dead on at about 250. So 
that should be a solid long shot. We'll make sure it's starting to go down, which it is. I'd like to see what those couple of scrub hair were. That is more than a couple. But we'll just kind of take a quick scan through them, make sure there's no level threes. And I'm missing a couple, but we'll be on our way and tracking down our spring buck. Speaking of making use of our weapons, though, we got a chance for a double there. We only got the one on the left, but the host of this particular server has already left. I still don't want to add too much hunting pressure, even still. Just generally good multiplayer practice, but one pellet hit that. At 28 meters, just a 3.45 silver, but it just so happened to be right next to our black-brown spring buck. And you can see, maybe a touch high there. That could have been also where we aimed. But that hit right in the lungs, even though we're 0 4, 300. Both the 223 and the 243 that have that problem. We do have a flock of widgeon going by, always trying to spot every single one of these. I do kind of get the impression that level 3 widgeon are relatively rare, so if there ever is one near us, I definitely don't want to miss it. That's kind of uncommon. A level 5 female lion next to a level 7. I say we take the level 5, and unless a flock of widgeon show up sometime between taking this shot and going and claiming it, it's probably going to be our last kill. So if she's just going to stand there, take that shot semi-quickly so she doesn't end up kind of bending down to drink and ending up taking that shot through the spine. I don't think they get much bigger than that. I'll be curious to see if it's like a, a flat weight, possibly max weight for a female. Definitely says a lot when you've got a female lion at a lake that is a higher level than the male lion, and I think the exact same score estimate. 39 to 42, I think is what we had for this as well. It's not a flat weight, so I guess it could be bigger, but 41.92? That is a really big female lion. Seems incredibly unlikely, but if we ever got a rare female lion of that size, that would be pretty neat. But I do think on that note, we'll head back to the Trophy Lodge with our Diamond Kudu. I'll show that level 4 that I was talking about just to see the difference, and that's going to be placed in a trophy in the lodge that I've been wanting to get for, I think, a year and a half. I want to say that's when Kudu Truax came out was with Mississippi, and I'm sure you can see what I was talking about. This just is nowhere near as impressive as this, and I went ahead and looked. The date that we shot the level 4 diamond was June 11th of 2022, so I bet we were doing the exact same thing then as we're doing now, grinding for a couple more trophies in the lead up to a new map. In that case, Reventuli Coast was coming out. Probably we shot our level 4 diamond and just called it good, but this looks far better on this wall of kind of spiral horn diamonds, and also, there's a pretty big difference between them. Our first diamond on the right, there's like more space between the spirals. They're very vertical horns, and I think they're a little bit lighter colored. They definitely are, at least towards the top, and it's those things with true axe that I really like to see. And frankly, with that level 4 diamond, there was nothing good to compare it to, and I didn't even know those sort of things were possible, but really cool to get that. No diamond widgeon, but a pretty close second for things I really wanted from Verhunga today, and maybe next time, that widgeon will be waiting on us. But on that note, that's going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.